$13,000 Bitcoin price predictions emerge with BTC falling below historic trend line. Bitcoin, BTC, prices broke below long-standing support wave, which was instrumental in keeping its strong bullish bias intact after March 2020's crypto market crash. Dubbed as the 50-week simple moving average, or 50-week SMA, the wave represents the average price traders have paid for Bitcoin over the past 50 weeks. Over the years, and in 2020, its invalidation as price floor has contributed to pushing the Bitcoin market into severe bearish cycles. Bitcoin price breakdowns below 50-week SMA through the history. Source, Trading, View.com For instance, the 50-week SMA acted as support during the 2018 bear market. The wave capped Bitcoin from undergoing deeper downtrends, between February 2018 and May 2018, as its price corrected from the then record high of $20,000. Similarly, the wave provided Bitcoin incredible support during its correction from the $15,000 high in 2019. Moreover, it held well as a price floor until March 2020, when the arrival of the COVID-19 pandemic caused a global market crash. Fractal targets $12-13K. Pseudonymous chartist Bitcoin Master flashed concerns about Bitcoin's potential to undergo an 80% average price decline upon breaking bearish on its 50-day SMA. The analyst noted that, if the said fractal plays out, BTC slash USD rates could crash to as low as $13,000. Hashtag Bitcoin just tagged the 50-week simple moving average, let in number 39, SC if the coin does in number 39, debrake tradition of bouncing at least 50%. $47,000, from it before making the usual 80% decline, $13,000, from ATH. Bitcoin Master, at Drive for You, July 14, 2021. Hashtag Bitcoin dropping after the weekly candle opened below the structure I've been watching for a few weeks now. I expect a bounce between $24,000, $29,000 largely due to the CME gap at $24,615. After that, my guess at a bear market bottom would be $12,000 give or take $2,000 either side. Pick.twitter.com slash a, me to m45 bmf. Keith Waring, at officially Keith, July 19, 2021. Meanwhile, Bloomberg Intelligence's senior commodity strategist Mike McGlone also highlighted the 50-week SMA in a tweet published earlier in July, albeit recalling the wave's ability to withhold selling pressure. The analyst recommended that investors should not dump their Bitcoin holdings right away on initial dips below the wave. Selling Bitcoin on initial dips below its 50-week moving average in the past has proven a good way to lose money, even in bear markets, McGlone explained. Bitcoin market analysts are mixed. The latest Bitcoin dip came in the wake of a global risk on market decline, driven by fears that the highly transmissible Delta variant of the COVID-19 would slow down the recovery generated by the reopening of economies. VJIR, head of business development at cryptocurrency exchange Luno, noted that Bitcoin could drop further. In his comments to Bloomberg, the former Google executive said the BTC slash USD exchange rates could fall to as low as $20,000. Nonetheless, he anticipated the pair to retest $40,000 on the next bounce. We're going to need to form another base first before resuming another bull trend, IR noted. We are going to be ranging between $20,000 and $40,000 for the rest of the year. Jihan Chu, the founder of cryptocurrency-focused venture capital and trading firm Kinetic Capital, placed a safe downside target near $25,000 but warned about accelerated sell-offs should bulls fail to log a rebound from the said level. He said, Q1's crypto market momentum has stalled and is threatening further reversal potentially below the $25,000 levels. Strong fundamentals and bullish signals remain. However, another analyst offered a different and more optimistic perspective on the current Bitcoin position. James Wo, founder and CEO of the global crypto investment firm Digital Finance Group, highlighted on chain indicators, including an ongoing decline in exchange inflows and active wallet addresses, as a reason to stay bullish on Bitcoin. Bitcoin net position change across all exchanges, Glassnode. Looking at these on-chain indicators, we can say that the majority of investors are waiting for major signals to enter the market again, what hold Cointelegraph. Related, Bitcoin bull outlines seven steps to more fiscal stimulus and higher BTC prices. Data provided by CryptoQuant, a South Korea-based blockchain analytics firm, also provided a bullish setup for Bitcoin, citing the cryptocurrency's MVRV. In detail, 
MVRV represents the ratio of an asset's market capitalization divided by realized capitalization. When the outcome is too high, traders may interpret the Bitcoin price as overvalued, thereby implying selling pressure. On the other hand, when the MVRV value is too low, traders may treat Bitcoin prices as undervalued, implying buying pressure. Bitcoin MVRV has reached September 2020 low. Source, Crypto, Quant. Buying, Bitcoin, at this same level in the past cycle was seen between January to March 2017, noted one of the Crypto Quant analysts, adding. It does not sell at the bottom but prepares ammunition for the bottom. Short-term data offer the probability of tested support, good exposure opportunity. The views and opinions expressed here are solely those of the author and do not necessarily reflect the views of Cointelegraph.com. Every investment and trading move involves risk, you should conduct your own research when making a decision.